Porsche 911 is the most important sports car in the world. I don't think that's arguable at all. I firmly believe Singer is a philosophy. We've managed to show the world our philosophy through the Porsche 911. Singer's ambitions are to produce beautiful things, uh, execute them beautifully, and to bring joy to folks. particular and and we all love him for it but at the same time he's given me gray hair so the story goes he was walking around a car and he started putting post-it notes on the car and he said this needs improvement this could be better this could be better and at the end of it all he got a bit frustrated and said everything's important got a spray can and wrote on the wall everything is important singer is it's a small company it's about 100 120 people the clients come in we sit with them we spend a lot of time with them on the phone if the car takes right around two years to build we're talking to them once a month so you build a relationship over that time and it's everything from sending them samples of colors to sending them samples of leather to working with them on leather weaves. One of the first things we do with, with customers when they come in is try to understand who they are, where they live, what cars they have, and really what their passion is. And from there, we start thinking about how to design a car towards them, their passion, and really where their environment is. Rob's inspiration has been about the perfection of paint, the full car, how it fits together, how each one of these elements work together to create something that is a solid piece. Lots of people worry about details. It's not a revolutionary thing for us to worry about details. I think restoring old cars is nothing new. Changing them, modifying them is nothing new. But I think what's unique about Singer's approach is that it's a particularly neurotic 360 degree attention to every corner of our subject. So through the restoration process, there's 21 milestones of that restoration. It's everything from picking colors to picking whether you want a center fill gas cap, if you want sports seats, bucket seats, if you want touring seats, if you want a sunroof, what kind of wheels, suspension. So throughout that 21 milestones, it starts with kind of understanding, again, who you are, what the vehicle will be used for, if it's a track vehicle or, or more of a, a road vehicle. The car is fabricated. We basically modify a number of pieces on the car. From there, it goes into bodying, where we take carbon fiber panels, everything from the hood, each of the fenders, the deck lid, uh, and the front uh, bumpers, and we build a carbon fiber shell within that car uh, that's then attached to the steel. The doors will remain steel, so for safety aspect. After that, it goes to sculpting or bodying of the car, and then after that, it goes into paint. So first thing we want to start with is color. What's your inspiration for this car? Where are you going to live? What is uh, certain colors look like in the light of, of your home area or where the car is going to live. Paint's kind of a fun milestone because the client's starting to understand what their car is going to look like when, it, when it's done. After that, it comes back here to SVD2, Singer Vehicle Design 2 building, and the assembly process starts. Once it's here, we start putting together the seats on the car, and then we look at the interior and we start looking at the aesthetic of the interior, what colors can we capture within those leathers, the leather weave goes into the door cards, goes into the back of the car. We have various options. We can have painted sills, painted interior, we can have leather interior, we can have carpeted interior. It's really kind of a limit of the customer. One client sent us photographs of, of sunsets from his house, from his office, and that was the inspiration for his leather weave. Use these colors in my leather weave so 
It's my happy place. Every car is different. Um, when a client comes in, we show them something like 500 different colors of leather. With the leather weave we have, they can have any design they want. Because we are very much a, uh, a craftsmanship type work, it's all about stitching and sewing the leather, and everything has to be perfect, you know, the detail of every stitch line, every leather. Um, it's, it's kind of a passion that all of my guys have, and uh, it's kind of a dying breed these days. Um, for anyone to sew leather and train to be that, it's, it's becoming very, you know, very rare. To create those for those people is just amazing feeling, and the, the whole team here are just very passionate about their work. After that, we start assembling the car. Uh, we start out with the sound deadening. We put the wiring loom in, suspension, drivetrain, and then start putting the rest of the interior in, the seats, etc. Having the right brand on a Porsche, Michelin tires have been synonymous with Porsche for many years. When we started 10 years ago, there was no question that any other tire brand was going to go on our cars, especially when we undertook the DLS project with, with Williams. Finding out that Michelin were prepared to do a special tire for us was, was, was amazing. It literally allowed me to style the DLS in the way that I wanted, literally around the tire. Some people might struggle to believe, but it's absolutely true. The way a tire looks as it is attached to the wheel is enormously important for me to a successful piece of car design in the way a car sits comfortably on the road and wears its bodywork, if you like. Through an amazing relationship with Michelin, we've managed to not only do that, but do it with some amazing support. Another great opportunity for us is we work with Ed Pink. Ed Pink Racing Engines has been around since the, the 50s. We have three engine options. It's a 3.6, a 3.8, a and a 4 liter. But I think what's more important is with the 4 liter and the 3.8, we're carb or smog approved. So if you live in California, you can legally drive this car around. If you like the sound of carburation, the injection noise, we have trumpets or velocity stacks that we can put on the car that gives you that roar. We also have various uh, cams that we can use. If you like a bit of a different uh, torque on the car or, or horsepower, we can adjust all of those things based on kind of your driving style. But for us, it's a history of these engines being built. It also allows you to keep the same case number on the car so you can have a number matching car. And for most Porsche people, that's an important thing. Special Wishes is uh, the name of a department of Porsche that uh, entertained special wishes of the clients for their cars. We love the term because it's appropriate to Porsche and this is the department where I get involved and my team gets involved when someone is curious about straying away from the reservation a little bit and if we feel that that's uh, something that gets our creative juices flowing we usually put it to one side and, and turn it into a, a, an extra special project and we will entertain it as far as we can as long as it sings from our hymn book. I would hate to have a car out in the world which which I didn't like or I felt uncomfortable with and I think um, the clients pay us the courtesy to respect that which is very cool and it's and you know that defines a collaboration doesn't it it's a bit of this and a bit of that it's something that we're doing more and more of and uh, gets our juices flowing for sure. The car that I have coming has a trim that uh, that will be extremely unique first of its kind uh, even for them and it's one that is extremely painstakingly difficult to get right. But when you see it, and when you see it in contrast with everything else, it will be the most special part of the car. But you could walk by it and totally not notice it. But the moment you notice it, you realize that makes the car. I'm totally addicted to details, completely OCD. And if there was ever going to be a match between you know, Rob and these guys' level of OCD and mine, we were going to make something really cool. We drive the cars between 300 and 400 miles, get everything shaken out, make sure that the, 
the car is doing what it's supposed to be doing, make sure that the electronics are there, make sure that the smog map is appropriate if you're going to a smog area. And then from there, we kind of polish it up, we do a nice little photo shoot and invite the client down to see their, their new car. Back in the day, one of my engineers used to say to me, treat it as an opportunity. Because there's no challenges here, they're all opportunities. We all love our work and uh, uh, just to get to the end of the build is, is such a good feeling. What really makes these guys different are the, the, the smallest things that you don't see. And every little thing, panel, fitment is perfect. Singer's known for its leather weave, Singer's known for attention to detail, Singer's known for gap and flush, but it's really about understanding the client, how they're going to use the car, and making something that they're going to love. Running a business where expectations of excellence are sky high, yeah, there's a lot, lot of pressure to that. There's a lot of pressure to that, for sure. This was never a let's get rich quick business. This was always a business that was artistically driven to achieve something extraordinary. It's what I tried to do in, in my modest music career and it's what I've tried to do in my design career, to take something and give it an enormous amount of respect and love and present it in a different way to a new generation maybe who never got to experience the, 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 the original back in 1965. We feel that we can represent a, a legend like the Porsche 911, with a, with a unique point of view in a way that satisfies the enthusiasts in all of us.